Hi guys, um, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial really on how I managed to take uh, a shot of this crocodile here. Um, without further ado, let's get snapping. Get it? I don't know. Anyway, uh, these are the two pictures, well yeah, two pictures I've got of the crocodile. As you can see, they're not that brilliant. Um, to be honest, I didn't have much time to really compose my shot. So what I've done is I just took quick shots because I had to move on to something else. Uh, I took one of the upper, upper part of the water, you know, getting the head and the eyes. It wasn't that much into focus, which is a shame. And then I got this one here of the underwater, of the crook's mouth as well, which wasn't too bad. I mean. I could also maybe use this third one here because the nose outside of the water is actually quite sharp but for today I'm just going to use these two here. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one here and then I'm going to control click on this one as well. I've got my two photos so I'm going to right click on my mouse and then I'm going to say open camera roll which brings them up here. I'm going to say select all and then I'm just going to do some quick edits here. I'm going to do auto. Um, I'm going to reduce my highlights because yeah that's not a very good shot as you can see here. I mean I've got all these parts here which are overblown but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I might turn this into auto now that I didn't do what I wanted so I'm just going to maybe re reduce Take this down a bit to the blue side and let's see what I got. You can go and have a look at the bottom one as well. It's not looking too bad at all. Um gonna go down here, I'm gonna do chromatic aberrations from all one and some four four corrections as well. I think that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Okay. Now I'm gonna open them in Photoshop. So I've got both of my pictures open in Photoshop. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to move, okay, I've got a bit of a problem, I think, yeah, okay, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go onto this one here, and maybe change the canvas size, change to percentage, is it like that, that I want, well, let's see, what if I add, let's say 50%, Would be enough. And okay, maybe I will say maybe seventy percent. Yeah, that will do. The reason why I've done that is if I had dragged the other photo, the crop's mouth would have been cut off at the bottom. Now I've got enough space to be able to fit this crop on that one. So what I've done now is I've uh, moved onto this tab here which is the move tool and I've, um, what do you call it, unlocked it. Now I can move that onto this one here. So I'll drop it here. I'm going to reduce the opacity so I can see what I'm working with. So I'll be able to drag this one down. So where do I want to put it? I can see the line here of the water. So maybe that's where I'm going to line it up with. Try and have a look and see if I can see the crop's mouth. Oh, I can't. It's just a bit of a bummer. That's going to be problematic. I need it to this side. Let's see if that lines up. Yeah, it's not too bad, I don't think. Maybe it is too bad. I don't know. What do you think? Can always lower it down if that's a bit of a problem. Okay. 
Okay. The next thing. Yeah, the next thing is I'm gonna apply a mask. I'm gonna get my brush and I'm gonna start erasing. So what am I erasing here? Just the top bits here. So that I can reveal the layer below that one. There we go. It's shaking up already, I think. It is the same croc as well, same position. This is what I was talking about. I think if I had used the other photo as well, which I can still do, I think once I've finished doing all that, I can then go back and redo another one with this nose here, which is actually quite uh, in focus. But for now, I think I'm just going to stick with this one here that I've got here. I think it's looking all right, don't you think? Yeah, I like it. It's just looking like a monster already, isn't it? Yeah, like that. Okay, I think that's pretty much done. I think I'm happy with that. Once it's all done, so what I then do is flatten up the image. And then I'm gonna crop it. I think in this case I'm gonna use the Instagram format. Boom. You can always go ahead and straighten uh, it. But yeah, I think that's looking quite nice. So yeah. Okay, I've got a bit of a problem at the bottom, but it doesn't matter. You can Always either re yeah you can either crop that bit which yeah I think that's what I'm gonna go with or you could have done a little bit of planning now I think the glass is not looking that brilliant isn't it you've got lots of scratches there and there and there and there. Uh, what I'm gonna, there is, I mean, there's always going to be lots of ways of how you're going to clear your glass. It depends on what sort of um, style that you prefer. And also, you got to bear in mind that sometimes one style will work with one photo and then it doesn't work with another, which is a good thing why you've got lots of other, you know, things, other tools that you can use in Photoshop. For today, I'm just going to go with the Sport Healing Brush. Let's see what. Go here, Let's see, boom, it's done it, it's done it. There we go. I think the crook is nearly done. Now for me, I think as you can see, it's quite noisy, isn't it, the picture? It doesn't look that nice to me. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to then go on and use another application. 
which in this case is called Topaz Denoise. Click on to that. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I can just maybe do that. I mean, that book a little bit of original uh, detail. Let's see what it does. Okay. I think outside of the tutorial, what I'll suggest is you know you play around with your settings until you get the right sort of settings you need. But for this tutorial, I'm sort of just uh, skimming through if you like. Okay. As you can see, also, well, yeah, this is the before. And this is the after. The noise is gone. The picture is nice and clear, which is what I like. I mean, what you can do is, if you want a little bit of uh, noise, you can always reduce the opacity. But for me, I'm just going to stick with this one here. The next thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to duplicate, uh, duplicate it again, and then I'm going to go back to the camera raw filter. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a graduated filter, which I'm going to reduce one the saturation, because now I'm going to turn this into a mean looking crocodile really. I mean, not that it's, well, it looks mean already, but I think I'm just going to make it even meaner. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to darken it, take a picture. Here I'm sort of adding a little bit of a story to it because now it looks quite dark and moody. That's the sort of uh, storyline I'm looking for. Yeah, look at that. And then after that, I will go to the adjuster brush and then I'm gonna. Brighten it up a little bit. What I'm looking for is to brighten up certain areas of the picture. For example, I need some detail here in the eye. And then this one is already popping. I'm going to another brush. <coughs> okay, this time around I'm going to. Temperature, I'm going to turn it to a little bit bluish because the tip are yellowish and I want to turn them white. I'm going to turn them white and brighter. And then maybe a little bit so much on that one. Okay, yeah, the non primary is on the other tip, which is what I'm sort of looking for. Okay, I'm going to add another brush. This time around, I'm going to reduce the saturation a little. Okay, make the brush bigger. So I don't Mean in there. Yeah, I'm liking that. Go get another brush. This time, I think I'm just going to reduce the exposure. Make it a little bit in. I'm liking it. There we go. I will say that's the end uh, result, but if you want, you can go and make it like uh, maybe darker, take the situation even down. And sometimes what I do as well is I will increase the texture 
to make it really look even more smooth. Look at that. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. There we go. That's the before, which is actually a nice picture as well. I quite like that one as well. And that's the after. Before, after, before, before. See, and there you have it, guys. Uh, that's the before picture. And that's the after. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I know it's not a bit polished, but that's just me learning. Uh, if you like my video, I would much appreciate it if you would subscribe and like the video. Until the next one, take care.